Previously on Ungalicious Ghana Cooks, the eight remaining contestants were hosted to the beauty of Ada. They enjoyed a speedboat trip to an enchanting island close to the estuary. Nana Edu Akro from Queen Mother of Manchekope graciously welcomed them. Organizers! Nana Akro! I'm uh, privileged and honored to be with you here for this uh, Ungalicious cooking competition. Working in two teams of red and yellow, the contestants had to race to find the hidden mystery box containing the ingredients for their task. In the end, Team Yellow, for the first time, were the team with the ungalicious taste. The team that carries the day is Team Yellow. <laughs> George, Lydia, Kafui and Bismarck, who are all members of the red team, had to battle in the ungalicious kitchen to avoid eviction. While the contestants braced for an eminent elimination from the competition, the eviction never happened. There's no eviction for this episode. Congratulations to all of you. All of you are staying into the next stage of the competition. Welcome to Ungalicious Ghana Cooks. We are in Keta, Miawezo, to the Volta region, the home of Fetidichi Ademe, Boma, Amadechi, Abobitadi, the Chifufi, Jenkle, Akpadechi, Mibankaha. We are savoring the serene ambience of the Aboriginal Beach Resort, Keta. The contestants could not resist the Agbaja dance before meeting Mama Tokomi the first, Queen Mother, Anyako Keta traditional area. Ungalicious Ghana Cook's Kitchen is going up every week and the contestants who can stand the heat will walk away with the first prize and cash prize of 20,000 Ghana cities plus a three-month internship at the Labadi Beach Hotel or the second prize, 10,000 Ghana cities and the third prize, 5,000 Ghana cities. When we return, we will meet our Queen Mother for today's task. Don't go away. A little helping hand will go a long way to get your meals tasting really delicious. So season your cooking with hunger for that delicious taste and mm, irresistible aroma that will get your loved ones looking forward to mealtimes. In the previous episodes, the contestants will be divided into two teams of yellow and red. Mama will give them their task for today. So, you demonstrate Gamako. Mia Chapo Megavaji at Parove. Mia Gaga Gagara Muama, Avala Minana, Nana Lafima. You join the class, she has some of you all. Now you're going to go to the beach. You are going to find something from the sea. You're going to go on the canoe 
go onto the lagoon and you have to fish something, find something, a protein from the lagoon, and then you come to the kitchen and come and cook. Chef Joe is joined by Chef Ko Sanami Komlavi Moy, chef of Aboriginal Beach Resort. À la cuisine, on fait les plats gastronomiques. Les gens apprécient beaucoup, surtout quand nous sommes placés à côté de la mer. On décore bien les plats et ça fait attirer les clients. L'hygiène, c'est ce que nous avons comme le principe dans la cuisine. To ensure the contestants capture a truly ungalicious Anglo or voter dish, we have our queen mother to taste. As a contestant in the food industry, you are welcome and feel free to be with us. I have a lot of contestants in the program. I have a lot of strong life. I have a lot of cocktails. I have a lot of cocktails. I have a lot of strong life. I have a lot of pizza, burgers, shawarma. I have a lot of strong life. I have a lot of strong life. Off they go. The two teams storm the beach. What will they find? They are also at the lagoon to look for crabs. And here they come from their lagoon crab expedition. <laughs> Chef Joe shows off his fear of water when Chef Joe invited him for a boat ride. No, 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 you grab. You grab. This is promising to be a very exciting culinary battle. The teams are gearing up to place on their plate the very best in an ungalicious taste. So you, you find yourself in Team Yellow again. How do you feel about that? I feel very fine. I'm OK. I think the losing thing with Team Yellow is all in our heads. So this time, you're going to be more positive. So you believe within your bones that Team Red is going on the chopping board Deep this down time around? So Team Red is going to the chopping board. board. What's the game plan today? Hmm. What has well, changed? Well, we are more positive than we were last week, so. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Choboy. Hey! Choboy. Hey! Choboy. Hey! This time round, mm -hmm. Team Yellow is saying that, uh -huh. what come what me, Team Red is going down. It's a lie. Are you sure? On top. Yes. The rivalry is on. Look, they are not <laughs> joking. Second <laughs> one. Ah, we are just doing. I the boy, I the bond. You have better than me, baby. Yellow. You have better than me. They are not going to hear me anymore. Yeah, they don't know. Eh, hey, sure. Eh, hey. I didn't know my issue. Kendra, I see you are very focused. We are all focused, trying to implement what we've decided. 
and this is going down because the team yellow is going down into the uh, Ungalicious kitchen. I'm going to know my door off. Let's see how I love you, Junie, here. You should see this one. That one. That's one. Oh no, no, step That's aside. One. We don't know. We don't need that coming here. When you are in Keta, yeah. you do it the Keta style. Show me. So watch me. Hold it. Let me show you something. Do it. Let me see. No, hold it. Who wants it to teach us? Mm -hmm. What is happening with you finding yourself in Team Yellow all the time? I think it's my luck. It's your luck. <laughs> That's reverse psychology. I hope that it works for you. But are you hoping to win this? We are winning this time. I don't hope we are winning. Like me a quick by me a me a I wish Tim Red all the best because it looks like Tim Yellow is prepared and they are going to beat them hands down. I don't know this. See you soon. This is the Bobby Daddy. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay, garnishing. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's very good. Oh my God, what are you doing? There is a, a, a crab from the lagoon here. Yeah? Woo! It's going with Banku, Akpele. Yes, please. So, so soon it will be okay, isn't it? No, very good. Mama? Yes, my dear. After going around mm. and seeing what they are doing, yeah, yeah. do you think they are representing Keta well? Yes, of course. They oh, are doing okay. well. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, they are doing oh. well. Then it means they took good instruction from you. When yes. You spoke to them and told them what you have. And think I took, they took inspiration. I think so. This is what they are doing. Yeah. Well, we'll see in the end when the meal is cooked. We'll yeah. see if they are really doing well, like Mama is saying. I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. Really? Nana ya sanzua. Bomidi mami. Wow, sha. It's in the sha. I bet you that chopping board need to be my It won't happen. Two more minutes and we'll be out of here. My good chef. Yes, boss. Me with tantalizing, fantalizing, mesmerizing. No, me you who? I'm not me who. I'm not me who. I'm not me who. Yeah. Yo, it's time for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is a bad deal. Chef, you have brought Chef Moin. Look at what they are doing and tell us something. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Chef, mm -hmm. how do we say crab in our way? Crab is aglana or aglana? Mm -hmm. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Ultimately, stop work. Titi Albana, they should be here, That is the true meaning of Ongalicious, and that is what we are about today. Which team will carry the day, Team Red or Team Yellow? It's time to decide. This is Ongalicious Ghana Cooks. Brought to you by Onga, Mama's helping hand, Ilele. Baby, I don't do bon hand. He has emptied the plate. Now, it is the time we have to make that decision, that crucial decision. 
to see which team has to go back to Ongalicia's Ghana Coast Kitchen to go battle it out individually and see who goes home. The judges have done their tasting. I have also done my tasting. I've got my score in my mind. But if you look at my face, you can just tell who is winning. Now, which team is going back to battle it out in the Ongalicia's Kitchen? Very big question. Would it be the sorry team, Team Yellow? or the gentleman panel team red stay with me when we come back from this break okay in the meantime i get to finish my accolade aquaba is the feeling of joy when you know you are home where you sleep in luxury and comfort and wake up to the breeze of the atlantic ocean to Labadi Beach Hotel, where the food is fresh and the smiles are genuine. Now you know you are home. Ghana's finest five-star hotel, Labadi Beach Hotel, the legacy lives on. Judges led by our Queen Mother, Mama Tokomi the First, Queen Mother of Anyako Keta traditional area, will need the judges to decide. Mama. Yes, my dear. You have tasted both. Yeah. Give your general comments about the food that we cook here. I could see all the food, they are very delicious. Yeah. And all taste well the way it's supposed to be. That's yeah. right. You know, but uh, if two people are fighting, mm -hmm. only one that to do what? So if there's something, you just take it like, but all the food is so ungalicious. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Mama. Chef Moïse. Mm. Bon, J'ai remarqué eh, les plats ici, c'est délicieux. Mm -hmm. Seulement, il y a un peu d'huile. Maintenant, quand vous arrivez ici, le poisson, c'est trop salé. La décoration, c'est parfaite. After a grueling culinary battle, the judges have tasted and Chef Joe is announcing the winning team. I always deserve the honor to do this. It is the most difficult part. One group scoring a total of 181 ultimately, and then another group scoring 229.5. The team that has won the Keta contest on Galicia's Ghana Cooks in Keta is Team Yellow. here in Keta. Team Red is saying that we no go agree. They say gentle Mekma now. And then finally, the team that we used to call the sorry team, Team Yellow, had that special spice in there today. I've got their plate anyway, and they won. On behalf of Onga, we present this beautiful hamper to Mama. Mama, Onga be mako pasol ya now. Once again, the Yellow team has shown what they are made of. They have won again, and are sending the red team back to the Ongalicious Kitchen to battle it out. Members of the red team are back in the Ongalicious Kitchen to battle to avoid eviction, who will be forced to savor the sour taste of elimination, who will kiss the dream of winning the title of Ongalicious Ghana Cooks. Contestants, welcome. Sure. And you know the tradition, and so you know why you are here. There is a mystery ingredient here. You come to take it, and then you start work. And again, you know the tradition, so I don't need to reiterate it. You know, when we say stop work, it is stop work. Start. Gabby. Have a look here. 
Hey, Baba. Mm. Something different or something I know. What I noticed that Keta, instead of using vegetable oil to prepare the food, we went ahead to use red oil, which make us lose our team. Monsieur Laba, you are back on the chopping board. Yes, please. How are you going to survive? I will survive. I will survive. I will survive. Yeah. There's no going home today. I was not so disappointed about whatever happens because uh, in all, one have to go and one have to win. So it's one of these things. Two minutes more. One minute more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stop work. Stop work. Step back. Kendra, tell us about your play. I have a coconut rice, spicy a bit, and I have a stabbed, vegetable stabbed, oven baked chicken and some salsa on the side. And I have a vinaigrette, uh, a mustard dressing to go with the chicken for. <laughs> but you notice your rice is not cooked. It's a bit tough. Yes, it was. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kandra. Thank you, Chef. Tough week. Me know me know how. If I need to hold your rice, mm -hmm. ke chicken, ke green pepper. Oh, oh, more keshito. More keshito. <laughs> You want me to call me to go home I to go home George. Chef. Tell the story behind your plate. Chef, please. My plate is um, kokonte. Is it banko or kokonte? It's kokonte. I was going to use banko, but I don't have it in the day, so I use the the kokonte flour instead of. Kokonte is it cassava or It's corn? cassava, please. But is that cassava? Because I'm tasting complete corn. With, with okay, this, you I think they, they mix. I don't, ha I don't taste anything at all. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of taste here. Yeah. The carrot puree. Yeah. So he decided to take us on a different direction. Yes, sir. Anyway. No, it's not. Thank you. Thank Let's you. Take your plate away. Panera, Kapui, and George are battling each other to keep their hopes of continuing their journey only on Galicia's Ghana Cooks Alive. The judges have tasted. It's decision time. Who will be made to hand in the apron? You're watching on Galicia's Ghana Cooks, brought to you by Onga, Mama's Helping Hand, Ilili. Before we even talk about the competition amongst you, I want to make one fact clear and bear. We gave Lydia the opportunity to come into this competition because the other one, she didn't show up. Unfortunately for her, she came in so late into this competition, so we did not allow her to do this. And on that note, Lydia automatically and naturally has been evicted. <laughs> Secondly, before I mention the second person to be evicted, out of a total of 200, we have 128 for one contestant, 145 for the other, and 145 for the third. What it means is that two people got a third. 
I had wanted to use one question on the brand positioning, but Job says because you were not told ahead of time. But I believe that up to now, you have known Onga and the various brands they have. So I'm going to ask you a question each. I am picking this, picking that, and picking this. We are going to identify by color. Canra, sure. when I show you the color of the pouch, tell me what flavor is in there. And a typical meal that you will use that flavor for. Canra, what flavor is this? Five, four, three, Chef. Is Onga, two, Onga three one. Mix. Onga three mix. Yes. Wrong. Now, Kafui. That is your flavor. What flavor is this? Stew. What typically will you use Onga stew in preparing? I normally use the Onga stew to prepare my jollof stew. Why would you use the Onga stew, Kafui? I use the Onga stew because I like the color and the taste in it and the flavor that it gives me. George, what flavor is this? Onga curry. Onga curry. Yes, please. Typically, what meal will you use onga curry for? No, I'll no, use no, the no, curry, no, the onga curry for my stir fried, like curry sauces. I think George deserves an applause. He has responded to it. I have in my hands onga curry. And this is a double curry out of the other curries. Other curries will just give you flavor. But onga curry gives you flavor, taste, and color. Then I have onga chicken. For George, we say onga pole. Chicken, onga chicken. Yes, you can typically use it for your chicken basis. But then, if you don't have chicken in a meal and you want to do that thing to put in the flavor, and you put it in there, then you have the stock, chicken, chicken stock, in the absence of the real stock, it helps you too. And apart from the flavor, it gives you taste. And then the ragu, the stew, it gives you that brilliance in your stew, not the synthetic brilliance. It gives you that natural brilliance of stew. So if you have to send someone to the market who cannot identify, who cannot read, you give them the color coding, it can bring you the right sample of onga. We have the curry color, that is a golden color brown, and then we have the orange as a chicken, and we have the reddish as a stew. If you're not used to drama, then please understand that this is onga licious Ghana cooks, where taste rules and those without taste are chucked off into the bin. We're about to find out who stays and who goes home. Don't go away. Many years ago, whilst cooking, Grandma would put some spice that makes the food taste so good. Coffee. One day, I asked Grandma, Grandma, why is your food always tasty? It's my secret spice. <laughs> Mommy, why is your food always delicious? Sweetheart, it's Onga, my secret spice. Mm. This is Onga delicious. Onga comes in classic Onga. stew, shrimps, and chicken powder, as well as shrimp tablets for great tasting meals. Onga, Mama's health and health. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. In this education, we had George adding to his mark five points. We had Kafui adding four points to her marks. And Kandra added nothing to his marks. Okay, so that has changed our new total. We have 150 for one of you. 149 for the other, very close. 
and we have 128 for the third person. For 150, clearly, George has passed on onto the next stage of the competition. Congratulations, George. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, George. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Kandra and Kafui, we decided that the two of you, Kafui, Kandra, both of you stays in the competition. <laughs> Next, on Ungalicious Ghana Cooks. This is the Ungalicious Kitchen. <laughs> Wonders, where we bisect and dissect and transform oh. the Ghanaian cuisine. Our shop. Oh. We keep making changes to the menu as you savor our irresistible episodes of Ungalicious Dishes weeks in, week out. Don't forget to make time to see what's on the menu next week. This is Ungalicious Ghana Cooks, brought to you by Onga. Mama's helping hand, Ilili.